Okay guys, here we got the pump cover. We're gonna put two springs in there. Here we got the C2 apply piston and the return spring assembly. And here is the rest of the stuff for the C1 and the C2 uh, clutch drum. Here's our shift kit. Okay, we're gonna do step one. We're gonna drill with the largest uh, one, 156 uh, drill bit supplied. And then we're gonna put those orifice cup plugs in there. Step two, we're gonna drill, cross drill on the piston wall. Step three, we're gonna take all those springs from the, uh, uh, all the little return springs and put new ones in there. They come in the kit, they're a little stiffer. Uh, step four, we're gonna do step four after we put those two springs in there in the pump one orange and one white one TCC limit valve the orange and the loop regulator valve the white one and then we're gonna put the rotating drum inside the transmission and assemble our pump with the bell housing and reassemble Okay, as you can see here, I already install, installed the uh, orifice cup plugs, both of them, and on the opposite side, I drilled that hole through that wall right there. So now we can uh, start assembling our drum. Now the return spring, the C2 return spring, we already uh, installed all the new springs. That's what goes next in the drum and the C1 piston and the snapper. Okay, so we got the C2 apply piston in there. We have the C2 spring cage. We have the C1 piston housing. We put the snapping on. Now we put the C1 apply piston C1 return spring then we go to the foot press and install the snap ring now we install the C2 balance piston and the C1 balance pistons now that we have our balance pistons snap rings in there now we need to install the input shaft Okay, we put our input shaft through the rear and install our snap ring. Next are our C1 clutches. After that, the snap ring goes here and then the internal spiral snap ring. To install the spiral snap ring, you need to uh, pull up, then hold, and install. Now, our C1 clutch hub. Our C2 clutch hub, followed by our C2 frictions. Okay, now that our C2 clutch plates are installed, now we need to install our backing plate and our front sun gear. Our snap ring. There you go. Completely assembled. Being that this uh, input shaft is so massive and that drum, you really don't need a hole on the bench. It just stands there by itself. Completely assembled. Now we put this rotating drum inside the transmission. There it is. Rotating drum inside the transmission. Now our pump stator, we are going to remove this valve line up here. You can see that valve in that bore, the spring, the retaining clip, another valve, another spring, and the retaining you see right there. That's our stator support, pump cover. That's what we're gonna work next. Okay, here's our lineup. 
we didn't have to remove the TCC limit valve from the bore but I got it out anyways just to show it to you and uh, this is the uh, loop regulating valve and this plug here has an o-ring o-ring spring loop regulating valve uh, clip retaining clip another spring and the TCC limit valve and another retaining pin here's our stator that's our empty bore okay now let's install these two new springs this will go here this one here okay I already got the springs in there the orange spring can become a little bit difficult to install to push it in to put the uh, retaining clip in there but you can use I use my uh, bushing cutter to push the spring in and then put the uh, slide the, the clip on top of it and then just get my bushing cutter out and uh, it worked pretty well I mean you can use uh, whatever you have on hand uh, but it is a little bit stiff spring and uh, that's what I used to get it in there alright guys here's the valve body and here's the separator plate we're going to enlarge those two holes to 125 thousandths of an inch and uh, here's our trim solenoids trim solenoid A trim solenoid B trim solenoid A valve lineup original and this is what we're going to put in it trim A and trim V and uh, trim, uh, trim valve B and uh, you have a rib on the go from the shift kit and you also have a rib on the uh, original trim valve has a rib and it has a rib trim A, trim B trim A, trim B solenoid and we enlarge those two holes now that we have enlarged our two holes we're going to install the trim valves in the valve body. If you notice, it has a pocket. The little check ball goes in the pocket and then the spring. There's the check ball. Now the spring, the small spring, now the big spring. And we put it in the valve body. The same for trim valve B. Okay, now that our trim valves are in the bores, the inner trim valves, we're going to install the outer ones. We're going to use reuse the original ones. A takes a spring and B does not take a spring. Now here's our valve body assembled. The one with the green o-ring goes to the outer outer side and the one with the black o-ring goes here. Now we got two accumulators distance with springs. One goes here, one goes there. Now we put the solenoid back on at the bracket. And we should be done. Okay, we're almost done. We're going to replace the neutral safety switch uh, with an updated one. Reason being is that there's a lot of uh, moisture that could get in between there. And this being a 4x4, the drive shaft goes to this side, the front for the front uh, axle and uh, they cause a lot of trouble so well, we're going to install this updated one and the difference is that it's got a seal in the back for moisture intrusion the original one does not have anything in the back it looks like a regular 4L60E uh, regular manual lever position sensor and also it has this front cover that is going to go here and uh, that would keep mud, debris, and all that stuff from getting in there. And uh, it's original, original equipment, Alice Engineering Parts. So uh, this is not a 4L60E uh, manual lever precision sensor, which a lot of people like to use those. Uh, but they still give a lot of trouble, so we try to stay away from them as much as possible and uh, go with OE.
Alright guys, well this is the finished product. But just remember guys, this is not a complete rebuild. This was just updated, upgraded, just beef it up. The next step is going to be installation and the test drive. RPM sensor, turbine speed sensor, manual lever position sensor, updated. These are your gaskets that come in the kit. Otter done.